So I'm gonna dispatch them. We're gonna do another catch and cook. I'm not sure what yet. Here's for the name of YouTube. And for the overpopulation and the conservation and management. Thank you, buddy, for giving your life. It's not easy for me. You're totally cute, and I think you can tell what this is. So it bothers me, but God bless you. We'll see you on the other side. Oh, we got a skunk. Oh, my Dude, you got to be kidding me. We got a skunk, guys. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be very interesting. I've been wanting to do a skunk catch and cook. This is disgusting. Between that green alien crap. Leprosy versus the smell of death. There we go. We're gonna cook these. Pepper Le Pew. I mean, pew. Two reasons I'm wearing gloves. Leprosy, hopefully not. And El Stinky. I'm gonna start by skinning this guy out. Go ahead and cut the cut the head off. There's Pippa to Pew right here. Butchered him. He would have had a pretty hide. Should have saved that tail. Let's put him right here. So y'all can just see how pretty he is. Too strong. Armadillo. Armadillo. For meat number two. Guys, this guy's a little tricky to get all the meat off. Most of the meat are in these legs, which is what I'm gonna take right now. So, I'm gonna begin by separating. It's already gutted. Begin by separating the shell. It's like a turtle or anything. Well, I've never done a turtle, but. The reason I like this knife, fillet knife, is it, it's long and so it'll go in deeper. If I had my, what I like to use, my pocket knife, my Kershaw, it'd be really hard to get all the way to the bottom right here. So, you wanna wear gloves because they do carry Hansen disease or something like that. It's a disease that you can get leprosy. It's, a, it's very, it's highly curable now. Wow, well, raccoon, I mean, armadillo penis, I've never seen it. You see it there? Very interesting looking. Very different. Like I said, just go around, start removing the shell completely. See how hard it is? Look. You just gotta keep separating and get rid of that shell. I don't know if y'all can see that. So not the easiest thing to clean, but not the hardest when you get used to it. And if you have the right tools, because this kind of bends, I'm sure they have a special tool for everything. I'm sure they have one that, then you can go behind and start separating with your fingers if you want. It'll start separating. Grab the head. 
peel that back. All he is is just a an animal with a shell on his connected with tissue. Just like that, it comes off. Do y'all see that? Just like that. So the hardest part was back here. The majority of the meat looked like it was stuck back here in the back of the shell. But that's the whole shell, guys. This is it. Completely unharmed shell. It's kind of cool. I don't know what I could do with it. If y'all have any ideas, maybe helmet. Helmet. Maybe bulletproof vest. Possibly. Maybe a seat. Maybe a bowl. I'm sure the Indians or somebody used this. It's kind of cool. It's really cool, actually. Now the skunk's got an armor. This is what you're left with. It has a very distinct smell to it. Almost like leprosy. Just kidding. I don't know what leprosy tastes like or smells like. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the process of removing. I'll take the head off. I'll remove the feet and I'll start taking the skin off. It's a very tough skin. You could probably cook it over the fire, but I don't think I'm going to do that. So let's do the head first. There's the head, tiny eyes, little cute ears, little cute hog nose. Hind quarter. See what other meat we have left. We have some meat on the side here, and we got backstrap meat. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the backstrap meat. Pretty good amount of meat on the backstrap, guys. Pretty nice amount. Just like any backstrap, start going along the spine. Start separating it. Gets a little bit tricky when it gets to this part. I don't know why, but it's it's like it's different. The anatomy is a little different than most animals. So it's not that easy to remove this back strap. Little backstrap nugget. That'll make some good uh, jalapeno poppers with it. You don't want this fat. This is it. That's it. I've never tried the tail, but it seems really hard to get into. I don't think it's worth it. But we pretty much got it all, guys. That's what's left. Start smoking these a little bit. Everything get a nice little smoke on it. All in these traps right here. That provided dinner, these traps. Highly recommend it, guys. Live traps, you can find them anywhere. You might have to do a little maintenance by the time you're done catching just because the animals are rough on them. The tip of the day that I have for you, 
is if you want to, and this is, I'm not talking by a, a long experience, but I'm talking by, by recent experience. If you want to mask the smell of skunk, the best thing that you can do is clean it with smoke around you. Have a fire, have mesquite, have any kind of wood, oak, anything that's going to smell like really heavy smoke and get that on you while you're cleaning a skunk because it's gonna mask that stench. So here we go, guys. We're smoking it right now, but later on we're gonna fry this up. We're gonna make uh, armadillo um, balls, basically, or armadillo eggs out of the armadillo. And we're gonna grind it up with sausage and jalapeno, wrap it in bacon, and deep fry it. And it's gonna be absolutely delicious. What about the armadillo? They're colored perfectly. Everything looks great. Poppers. But these poppers are so good. Mm. Restaurant worthy. For sure. Here's the dish. And there it is. Armadillo and skunk coming up. This is apple cider vinegar. I think it's the Bragg's version. It's a, it's a, a better version or a better brand. With salt, Himalayan salt. And I probably put, I don't know, you just want enough to be able to soak all your meat in it. So I'm gonna go rinse this off one more time. And then I'm gonna soak my meat, the uh, skunk and armadillo meat in this solution. So I'm gonna go rinse one more time and I'll be right back. Again, here's what I like about the armadillo shell. Is that I can use it to rinse everything. And then when you want to strain it, you close it. And get it all out like that. And then again, good rinse. Hold it, just like that, and it's ready. Pretty clean. Let's go take it. soak it this is the skunk I can still smell it smells pretty skunky but we're gonna soak it in the apple cider vinegar let's get in there real good guys armadillo as well Soaking that up apple cider vinegar. Salt and ice. And why am I doing this? I don't know. I heard you're supposed to soak it, the skunk, to get that skunky flavor out of it. But this is just apple cider vinegar, salt, and ice. It's gonna bathe in that. I had a great time out here with y'all, but I think I'm gonna do the rest of it inside. We have a, a small fire, sun starting to go down, even though we could do it here. Getting the oil to the consistent temperature that I need, like at around 300, 350, um, is gonna be an issue. And so going inside, it's gonna be a lot easier to control the temp of the oil. Um, and so we're going to go inside and we'll just finish in there. Had a great time out here. Enjoyed it. I love it outside. You know that, but we're going to move this thing inside and, uh, we'll go from there. So here we go. We have, this has been, has been soaking 
and the vinegar, which I think is going to help a lot with tenderness and gaminess. So looking forward to how that's going to come out. You can't go wrong if you're going to do Cajun to soak it in vinegar. So that's how I look at it. So let's go inside. We'll see you inside in the kitchen. He's eating scum. You we actually made, Corinne. True? True armadillo. Ah, sorry. Armadillo eggs out of armadillo. How about that?